Hi everybody, in this video we're going to take a look at Desmos's new statistical features and in particular how we can perform hypothesis tests using Desmos now. Uh, I'm going to walk you through how to do one sample and two sample t-tests for population mean. And I'm also going to touch on how to do one sample tests for population proportion. And I have a few past AP items ready here to go. Uh, this one is from the year 2014. Uh, this one was kind of tricky for kids because they gave you uh, information on the amount of money that women spent and men spent on eight different car models here. And what you were really asked to look at was here, this row, the differences. Wow, that's really sloppy, but okay. You're supposed to look at the differences here. And the question says, um, is there evidence that women pay uh, more than men for the same model car? So our null and alternate are given here that the mean difference is equal to zero versus the fact that the mean difference is less than zero. Um, so this is really a one sample test. So let's walk over to Desmos here. So step one is I have to put the differences into Desmos, and I've done that already. I have all eight differences here. And keep in mind going back to the problem that I'm doing a one-tail test and how the problem is written, I am looking to prove that the difference is less than zero. So a couple things I can do here. First of all, I can get the value of the test statistic. I can do t-score. And here, uh, the parameter I would like is the list it's coming from, t-score A is 3.12. Now, it's going to give me the positive difference here. Uh, I know that when I do the hypothesis test, I'm really going to be looking at a test statistic of negative 3.12, but that's just fine. Uh, if I were to graph this and get an idea of how unusual this is, I could do the t distribution. I know I have seven degrees of freedom. And zoom in on that guy. And I would like the probability uh, from negative infinity up to negative 3.1177. So I can kind of do the hypothesis test here just using t-score and t-distribution. But there's also a dedicated command for t-distribution, uh, uh, for t-test rather. I can do t-test. I need two t's here. t-test uh, for column A. And it will give me three different things here. Uh, it will give me, um, based on the test statistic, the less than, 3.12, uh, the greater than, and also the not equal to. So I have options for the one-tailed or the two-tailed test. And this particular one, um, notice it's giving me based on a test statistic of 3.12, but that's just fine. We know that the t distribution is symmetric here, and I have a, um, a p-value of 0 0.00848. So we can do t-tests, t-scores, and use the t-distribution as well. Let's drag these guys into this folder. And I'm going to make this, at the end of the video, I'm going to give you a, uh, a link that will allow you to access this. So be on the lookout for that. Um, so next, let's do a two-sample test. Here's a problem from a few years ago where we have, um, I think it's goldfish here, from, from Buy Right Pets and Fish Friends. Nice names. And do the data provide convincing evidence that the mean length of adult fish of the species from Fish Friends is greater than the mean length from Buy Right Pets? So up top here, I have my null hypothesis that these two uh, means are equal to each other versus the alternate that fish friends is greater than buy right or alternative that buy right is less than fish friends. So let's go back to Desmos again. I've put these both in as lists. Uh, I probably could have called these B and F. That'd probably be better, right? Buy right and fish friends so I can keep track of them. Let's call them B and F, best friends. And if I want to do a two sample test now, uh, this time I need I T test, independent random sample T tests. And it's going to be... Uh, B versus F, and now here's all the stuff that I need, okay? And keep in mind in this one, um, B has to be less than F, that would be this guy here. And here there's no test statistic, there's no any of that stuff, I just have independent t-test, and it gives me all the associated uh, possible p-values. Okay, so there's all about testing for means. There is no dedicated command for proportion, testing with proportions, but I'll show you a few ways that you can get to this idea within your classrooms. Here I'm going to say n equals, and I'm going to pick a sample size of 1,000, uh, but I want to tinker around with these sample sizes a little bit. Let's say I'll go from 100 to 1,500 and count by tens, but for now I'll leave it at 100. And I also want a hypothesized proportion of, let's say, 0.21. The way I can do this is if I do a normal distribution, I could ask Desmos to make the curve centered around P. And here I can put the standard error for the test that I'm doing. Uh, I can do square root of P, 1 minus P, 1 minus P, uh, divided by N, divided by N. And let's zoom in on that guy. 
And I could find a cumulative proper probability. Let's say that the uh, random sample of 1,000 people gave us a p hat of 0.19. So I could shade this curve from negative infinity up to 0.119. And that's one way I could get the p value out of here, a p value of 0.06. But what I like here is that I can toy around with this sample size and look to see what the effect of the sample size is. If I end up with the same p hat value, what if I have bigger sample sizes? or smaller sample sizes, in which case does the p hat become more unusual. So there is no dedicated command here, uh, but there is a nice way to discuss these ideas within your classroom. So right now on the screen, I'm going to put a link to this, a bit.ly link, that hopefully you can toy around with these on, on your own.